Last week, we told you about former IU basketball player Mo Creek, who was stuck in Ukraine during the Russian invasion. Well, tonight, Bailey Smith caught up with him about getting back to life after war. She's here now with his story. Bailey? Well, Shelly, I was supposed to talk to Mo about two weeks ago whenever the invasion start, first happened in Ukraine, but just five minutes before the Zoom we were supposed to do, he had to be rushed to an emergency bomb shelter. So it's been a long journey, and he's gone through several countries, but finally he is back in the comfort of his own hometown in Maryland, and he's counting his blessings. For any college athlete, the idea of a professional career in sports is like a dream come true. Maurice Creek, or Mo for short, has been living that dream since his glory days playing basketball at IU. To make it out of that and play, what, eight years of professional basketball overseas and see different cultures and see people all over and everybody loves me for being me being me, I love doing it. Creek played three years professionally in Ukraine, and when he returned this winter, he and his teammates never thought they'd be in a war zone. They had already been saying, like, oh, things were going to happen and it didn't happen. Until it did happen, and they were stuck. I was terrified. You hear the sirens, you hear the bombs, you hear the shelling. All of that stuff is <laughs> something I've never been through before in my life. With no family by his side, Creek had to rely on strangers in bomb shelters. And it's just you and the people that you don't know down there, you know what I mean? Trying to become a family so that everybody can feel like they're safe. And on a green beret to coordinate a ride for him to escape. Going with my uh, my assistant coach's wife and his sister um, in a cab and having to drive, drive into a hot zone that has already been a hot zone to get out. When I got through it, I was just like, I'm, I'm relieved, I'm relieved. Creek's family, including his nine-year-old daughter, anxiously waited by the phone for updates, taking shifts sleeping so they didn't miss a call. Before I went down in that bunker, I was like, Mom, I love you. You know, I don't, you know, I, the last thing I would want is for something to happen to me and never tell my people that I love. They are so happy that I'm home because they didn't know no better either. The only thing they could do is pray just like I was praying thousands of miles away. Now they can rest assured having Mo safely back at home. Well, Mo said that there are so many stories and details that he wants to tell, but we're going to have to wait for his book to come out. Just glad he's home safe and safe. I am too. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you.